Alright guys, welcome back to where we left off in, uh, Borderlands. Uh, so we did a few missions right now. We're gonna go turn them in. And, yeah. Yeah, so we did, we did some more side missions last episode. Because... We didn't have, um, we weren't a high enough level to proceed with the story. So we've been just doing side quests. And, uh, so far we're looking good. Got, we did a bunch of them last episode. We did probably like eight or so side quests. And I mean, I think it was enough. I think it was enough side quests to... Um, I think it was enough side quests to level us up to 17, so, because we're going to go turn these two in, and I think they should get us to level 17, but to be safe, um, on the way to turn them in, I think we're going to do this mission, because I think it's on the way, uh, to, um, the turn-in location, so I think we're going to just do that mission. It looks like it might be a bit tedious, um... Because we have to collect 50 of the shot crystals. But if they're just like everywhere. Then it, I mean it should go by pretty fast. But we'll have to see. Uh, let's stop here real quick. So I can sell stuff. And... So I, I don't need any of this stuff. I can, Oh I can equip that rifle now though. Uh, and now I can sell everything. And then we can upgrade. Let's do. Let's do SMG ammo. Let's do shot. What? Is it because I already upgraded my shotgun once? I can't upgrade it again. Okay. Um. We'll do revolver. We'll do repeater pistol, we'll do launcher, we'll do grenade, we'll do, we already did combat. So the only one left is sniper. And now we have all the upgrades for ammo. And I think those eventually change again. So this is the rifle we're going to be using from now on. Holds very little ammo, but it does a decent amount of damage and stuff. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, I think it should be better than the other one regardless just because it does almost double the damage and it has half ha half its clips so i think it's a fair trade-off to be honest all right yeah let's go do this quest before we turn in Enough walking. just so i can because doing this quest should almost guarantee that we'll be level 17 when i go to turn these in so we'll be able to uh do the main quest in this episode finally i'm not even kidding if you guys didn't watch our last episode all it was was us grinding levels the entire episode okay it is where i thought it would be but yeah all last episode was just us grinding but now that we did it we should be able to do the main quest this mission i think we should be able to finish it too i don't think it'll be that long of a main quest Depends on how long this quest takes us to do. Also, I don't know how well you guys can do just because this game is extremely loud. I 
thought I would be able to just shoot at him, but that does not seem to be the case. I... Oh, I gotta shoot at these little ones. Fuck, this is gonna take forever. Um, let's go this way first. Rifle sucks so much. Okay, what does he drop? High capacity with the recharge. Oh, yeah, we're going to go for high capacity. This is gonna take a fucking fat minute to do though, for sure. Just cause I need 50 of them. So does each one give us five? Fuck, that's painful. That is so painful. <laughs> oh, I thought there was another one. I was like, this. Go this way. <laughs> oh, well, we're level 17 without having to even turn in these missions. We're still gonna just finish the mission. I'm not gonna just have us go halfway in between. We're still gonna just get these done. Because whatever extra XP we get is. XP we don't have to grind for later, you know what I mean? So, I'd rather just have us finish this mission, do his, and just turn them all in. Because then that'll guarantee us a decent amount of XP. Because um, as long as we can stay, uh, like, basically to the level of what mission we're on, we should be fine. Stop it, assholes. What the fuck is happening? Oh my god. There's just so many of them. There's still more. They're still spawning in. They're still spawning in. Why? 
I'm like constantly staying with no health right now. That was crazy. There's so many of them, I don't know why. And I'll take it, but it's honestly trash. It sucks too that I have to pick up every individual one. There's something up here that I missed. No, just a save point. Or not a save point, but a respawn point. Definitely get that while we're down here too. What the fuck is happening? There's just so many enemies, dude, in this cave. Those steal health from enemies and repair you there and heal you. Hell yeah, I want that. Alright. Uh, let's go this way real quick. Um, just because I want to get that claptrap uh, repair kit. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to finish that mission in this episode. The main mission that we haven't started yet. But, um... I think... Well, I mean, we'll definitely be able to finish it next episode. But I don't think we're going to be able to finish it this episode just because... We're doing side quests right now. I don't need to even do these, but, like, it just... It feels like it's worth to just get them done real quick. You know? It feels like it's worth it to just get them done um, so I don't have to worry about them later. <laughs> Fuck. There's gonna be a bunch of these scads. So we did all those, now we'll just do Claptrap's thing and then we can turn all this in. So, and that should actually put us to level 18, so we'll be over level for this next mission. Which, um, that'll be good for, that'll be good for us for sure. Playing this though is getting me excited to play Borderlands 3, because Borderlands 3, I know people say that the second one is their favorite and stuff, and it it's kind of my favorite, but Borderlands 3 is just awesome. It really is. It's just an awesome game entirely. 
And I love all the different planets, because then the locations are so varied. I, I, I just think the, site, or the third game is really good. I enjoy, I, I enjoy just about everything about the third game. The second game, I enjoy most of it. I, like, I'm, I'm just very on the fence, too, because I can never decide between the third one and the second one which one's my favorite, you know? I'm very in between. Like, that's the issue. How's my proficiencies? SMG and sh shotgun's my highest right now, which makes sense. The shotguns are just so good. <laughs> I, like, I, I just do so much damage with the shotguns that it feels dumb to use anything else, you know? Shotguns are one-hitting enemies and a bullet, and the fucking SMGs and ARs are using a whole clip to kill one. So it just, it, right now, for the weapons I'm getting, shotguns make the most sense to use because they're doing the most damage overall, the most damage per second, everything. That's why it just makes sense to use them. I could I could fill up on ammo real quick too. And upgrading on the ammo like that so soon was a good call, because now we'll we should run out of ammo way less. Cause I was running out of SMG and AR ammo like super fast. I didn't run out of SMG ammo that whole time I was using it a second ago, so. Um, okay, so we need to turn these all in. Let's go get this done, and then we can go start the main mission. Which, let me check. Oh, and yeah, no, we'll, we'll be able to finish the main mission in this episode. Because we're going to just drive over here, turn these in, and drive right back to the main mission, so... Well, we should definitely be able to do the main mission in today's episode and finish it. I don't know how many main missions there are. I feel like there can't be too many if I have to grind that much on side missions. I feel like there can't be that many main missions. Because then this game's going to honestly get kind of stale. You know, because it's going to be a lot of just pointless or not pointless but it's just gonna be a lot of grinding and I mean to be honest I enjoyed grinding those side missions I found them fun to grind like that but I, I don't want to only be grinding you know what I mean that's my only issue I'm gonna do this just so I gain some health without buying health alright um so we got we didn't level up. We got really close though, so that's good. And then we got improves a little phase walk skill, adds shock damage. Okay. Um. Let's go in scenario. Can I equip both? Oh, you can equip both. What? Oh, so those are just passive upgrade type of things. Okay. Well, that's cool. And the sniper, honestly, I don't. The sniper might be better to use than the rifle, just because I've been using that rifle and it's not good. So we'll try out that sniper for a little bit, see how that goes. We haven't used a sniper yet. Alright, so now we can start the night, the main mission. Those artifacts are going to be really nice. So I added shock and incendiary. Uh, incendiary? You know what I'm trying to say, fire. I had fire and shock damage to Lilith's phase walk ability. So like when she goes in and out of it, I think. I think that's what it's talking about. Because when she goes in and out of it, there's like a shock wave. So I think that's what it's talking about. But how would that work? Aren't they going to just end up canceling one out, you know? Whichever one activates first is going to cancel. Like 90% sure that's how that works. You can't have two... Um, elemental damages like hitting you at once because then one just cancels out and they'll, I think the one that hits you last is the one that stays active I could be wrong about that but I'm like I'm 
90% sure I'm correct about the way that works. All right, let's go try to fuck some people up. I doubt this sniper is going to be good, by the way. Because it only does 91 damage. That ain't shit, to be honest. But its critical damage is insane. So I think... I think if we hit headshots, this thing might be really good. Um... What the fuck? Oh god. It like shoots rockets. That, that's not good. Now we're level 18. Um, which I'm, uh, I'm gonna do fire rate. Oh. What is what did he drop? I'm just gonna equip that because that sniper's ass. Um Okay. Yeah, that sniper is trash, though. I don't even want to think about using it. I think we can just go up here to get around this gate. Yep. What is this? Nice. All right. Um. Huh. I'm not even like grabbing crappy weapons at this point. I just, I honestly don't see a reason to. Oh, I thought the fuck was up here. I just killed that fucking dude. I don't do any damage. Um. That, that's a pretty strong gun. <laughs> that thing was wrecking my health. Oh, that's a shotgun? Is that a shotgun or is that a rifle? It's a rifle. Okay. It's better than the rifle I was using. I'll take it. Nope. Can't jump up there like that. Alright. 
I love the arrows. It's a good way of being like, you gotta go this way to get I wasn't ready for a burst weapon. I thought I could just hold down the trigger and the burst would still go out. That is not the case. little checkpoint um Come down! How, how did you not die uh, doesn't I, I, th this is like random as hell by the way but doesn't square enix make um just cause just cause don't they make those games if they do, they should do like a Just Cause 2 remake because that the second game is like one of my favorite games of all time. It's the it's one of the like games I have a lot of memories with because my so my uncle used to have a, a PC and he had it uh, hooked up to his living room TV, and I remember playing Just Cause and watching him play it and like he would play it all day. So I would watch him play it for like six hours, like, just straight. Cause this was, I mean, this was before I was even going to school, I think. Like, I was little, little. And... I, I remember watching him play it so much. And I remember just running around and playing it. Cause it's so, it's just... It's a game where you can just run, you know, and just shoot. And I remember him playing it. And the first time he let me play it, it was like super crazy to me because he's letting, I mean, I was like four at the time or so. And he was just letting me play on his, uh, at that time, I think PCs were, weren't too expensive, but I was still like, holy shit, I'm playing with a mouse and keyboard type thing. Cause I, before he let me play on that, the only thing I ever played on was like, I think I had a PS2 and an Xbox original. No, I had a 360 and a PS2. Yeah, I think I think 360s were out at that time. So I it was a 360 and Xbox original, and I had a PS2. And playing on PC was just something completely different to me. It took me like I remember it too. It took me like honestly, I want to say it took me like a week, two two to three weeks of playing for like maybe an hour or two a day to learn how to like get good with mouse and keyboard because I, I was awful with mouse and keyboard I'm still bad at mouse and keyboard I can play some games with mouse and keyboard like uh, I got really I got pretty good with CSGO when I was going to my cousin's house a lot because he had it on his PC and I got I got good with CSGO a lot and I got good with um, uh, I got good with Rainbow a decent amount. But like playing like single player games too, like immersive single player games, mouse and keyboard felt like shit. Like I feel like mouse and keyboard is only for like competitive games, because otherwise it's like honestly just trash. In my opinion, I think mouse and keyboard is literally only good four competitive shooters and then I think for if you're playing single player game you might as well just use a controller and that's the good thing about PC you can use whatever controller you, your preference is like my pref my preference honestly is either PS5 controller because I, I really do love these controllers these PS5 controllers are sick but um for me personally, it'd be PS5 controller or a 360 controller. No, those are my two favorite controllers. I think all the other controllers honestly aren't like good at all. Like I hate, I hate PS3 controllers, and I like P PS1 to PS3 controllers are okay, but they're not great, and the PS4 controller is not good at all. This one is a brute. I don't he like it compared to the other shield. ones. You will need to whittle down before you can hurt him. Don't let him touch you. 
I'm going into this fight with no health. But yeah, I, I like 360 controllers and I like the PS5 controller. Like, because the PS5 controller just feels good in my hand. Compared to the PS4 controller, like, the PS5 controller just fits in my hand way better. You know? You're serious. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> That's not bad. His accuracy is shit, but that thing's insane. The damage wise, this thing's nuts, but the accuracy is dog shit. I'm gonna try it out. I bet you would like to know what that is. The vault is real. What you are holding is the key that opens. Hold on. That, that, that mission was short. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if we'll be able to finish it, guys. Nah, that mission was short as fuck. We're gonna do... We're gonna do that, uh... We're gonna do the last round mission, too. This thing chews through ammo, though. Because you, you're forced to do two first. And it's inaccurate, so it's not like guaranteed that you're gonna kill them this in one burst. I don't know. It, we'll keep messing with it, but I, I think the shotgun might be pretty good. Blow me. <laughs> so yeah, what we'll do is we'll uh before we turn this in, because I think we have to go all the way back to that first outpost. Yeah. Before we turn that in, we're gonna do this circle of death real quick. It's the final round, and we're at the level to do it now, so we might as well just do it while we're in this area. Just because I mean it's only gonna it literally takes like a minute to do a round, so We'll be able to get this side quest done, get a little bit of extra XP, and uh, I'm sure he'll have a decent reward for us as well. Maybe some kind of shield or inventory upgrade or something. Anything is helpful at this point because we're, I mean, we're still fairly early into the game. So, almost anything helps, and I mean, even if it's not helpful, I can still sell it, which is helpful, you know? So... Oh, fuck, I have a headache. <laughs> it's because I've been drinking water in like two hours. My body, I feel like I dehydrate quick. Like, I feel like I need to drink water, like, nonstop. Otherwise, I get headaches and I just feel like shit. And I usually just lay instead of drinking water, so I'll just feel like shit forever. But... I think I'll start, uh... I think I'll fucking drink some water right now. Shit. Yeah, this thing definitely chews the ammo. But it does a shit ton of damage. 
I just need to get a, a better gun to use as like my secondary weapon, and then I'll be fine. Oh, I thought it ended with those level 18 alpha skags, but it's not. There's more after them. There we go. Beautifully done. Okay, uh, fire rate, and then we'll increase our resistances, I think. Actually, I think phase walking is going to be worth upgrading. Because there's so many skills that focus on it. And honestly, I now that I'm like starting to use it a little bit more during combat, it is definitely significantly useful during combat. As long as you understand how to use it, you know what I mean? And I'm starting to understand what it's useful for. Okay, so I want to relocate, you know, behind an enemy. I'll go into face walk. Deal a little bit of extra damage to that enemy. And then shotgun. You know, I think that's what phase walk is best used for, is the shotgun. Because it allows you to get close to the enemy. And also those healing uh, benefits from it are really nice. Being able to heal. So say an enemy is pelting you from a distance, go into phase walk, on your way behind him, you heal, you know what I mean? And then just da da da, boom, dead, you know what I mean? It definitely, definitely seems very useful to use. We could try using one of the golden keys too, since I have a shit ton of them. Nice, we got our first class mod. And we get to leave Firestone for our first time. Awesome. I know how class mods work. All right. Uh... Oh, it equipped it automatically. 18% team shield capacity plus war resilience skill. You've discovered a class modification unit. All right, let's use our first. Well, it's not our first. But let's use a golden key. Uh, that was bad. Let's let's do it. Let's use another one. I have a shit ton of them, and I honestly don't care about them that much. Why does it give you two of the same type of weapon? That's honestly annoying. That's worse than that one. And that's worse than this one, too. I mean, nothing's going to top the damage. We'll do two more. We'll do two more after this one. I mean, that's already better than what I'm using. And that's already better than what I just equipped. Alright. So we'll use one more after this one. Nice, SMGs. That's better than this one. I mean, that does less damage, but its fire rate's higher. Alright, last one. Two shotguns. Trash. And more trash. Nothing is going to top this shotgun for a while when it comes to damage. You know, um, I'll keep, I guess, that pistol. But everything else isn't worth keeping. 
I'll keep just that revolver as just like in case my weapons run out of ammo, which is very unlikely. Speaking of ammo, I should probably stock it. Real quick. Let's, uh, I guess we're leaving Firestone? It says Claptrap talk to. Oh, I guess we have to talk to him over there. Alright, so we're leaving our first area. Like our first, uh, main area, you know? We've been to a lot of side areas. But we're leaving our first main area. I don't know how varied this is gonna be. I know, like, the second game is decently varied when it comes to environment, and the third one's massively varied. Tiny Toons Wonderlands is very varied, and so is the pre-sequel is somewhat varied, but not really. But this game, I don't know how varied it's going to be, because it all takes place on Pandora. It's None of the locations from the second game are here for the most part. And this, even the second game is not that varied. Well, it, it is. The DLCs make it super varied as well. So we'll have to see. I'm hoping that this next area looks a little different than just the desert. But we'll have to see, because it is Pandora. It's a desert planet. So, you think the vault is real, eh? Hmm. Everyone is talking about it. This is the biggest thing that's happened here in a long time. Think of the visitors we will have. Listen, if you find it, what's inside could be worth a fortune. But only if you get the right partner to help you sell it. So sorry if you hear background noise and trying to get a drink. Please stand by while I activate the gate for you. Thank you, Mr. Claptrap. God damn it. I hate I hate drinking out of plastic water bottles. But I hate tap water, so it's like one or the other. Interesting fact. Based on your current stress patterns, I calculate a 94.3% chance that you will encounter an unfortunate death experience. <laughs> um. Oh. Doll Headland. Alright, let's hope it's a little varied here. Uh, no, not at all. It, I mean, it looks a little different. Just because, like, it, it changed from being, like, no, it looks the same. <laughs> There's new shit here, of course, and the layout is different, but it looks generally the same. Because it is still just desert. Uh, and this area is about the same size as the last area, so... Oh, we're almost level 20, which is good. Alright. That's optional. We're going to equip it for now, but we're not going to do it. Just because it's level 20. This is our main mission. It's just, it's weird to me because there's like no dialogue at all for the most part, like, story-wise. There's, like, it's just weird. There's very little, like, story to the game. Enough walking. Um, do we have enough time to do this mission? We should. I don't think it'll be that long. Oh, fuck. It did it. Does it have the wrong mission equipped? Yeah. I, uh, you know, luck is an old buddy of mine. And, uh, by old buddy, I mean asshole that ruined my mom's girl parts. <laughs> uh, so he's in trouble, so you go on ahead and try to keep him alive long enough so I can kill him at a later occasion. Got you, bud. Go keep him alive so I can kill him later. Let's try out this new rifle. Take out. Oh yeah, that's that's <laughs> definitely pretty good. Yeah. 
Damn, this rifle is really good. The fire rate is insane on it. The damage is insane on it. It has a decent size. It has a really good size clip. Never mind. 57. Oh, shit. I'm reloading way too much. <laughs> it's a habit, though. To reload after a kill. It's a habit that I've never been able to kick. For the most part. I definitely always have to reload. somewhat frequently, but I, I try to do my best to not reload so much. And like, like in Rainbow though, I'm so bad at that. In Rainbow, I reload after every bullet, but I mean, it makes a little more sense for that game just because it is so competitive. That's not that good. That's not good. Yeah, I like this rifle a lot. Uh, lucky, sir. That took a whole clip. Sir. Cool. Level twenty. I think we're. Uh... Hey, uh, Wait. Hey, thanks for keeping that dick bag alive long enough for me to pass <laughs> on later. Much as it pains me to admit, Lucky knows the area better than anyone. I want to use him while he's alive for me not having killed him at all. It says it's optional, but it's also the only quest we have, so. I don't know how optional it actually is. Um, I, I think we could just run there. All right. Oh, no, there's a car spawn right here. Let me, trying to make sure I don't go over 60 minutes with the recording, because it'll just stop on its own. I, I feel like that sucks, dude. That's so limiting for the PlayStation. You'll only be able to record 60 minutes and then it just stop. And you only can put 80 minutes of footage into the uh, share factory. And then you have to lower it down to 60. Oh, you fucking... This is stupid. Nice to buy asterts. Fuck, they're coming this way. I had to get the master switch. This will make it so we can fast travel to, I think, any of the catcher rides and also, uh, like, any of the little spawn points. I think. I could be completely wrong. We can, I know it'll let us fast travel to other locations, like other region type of things, you, you know, the different maps. I know it'll let us fast travel to those. So we can fast travel to all those like uh, respawn locations. So that's cool.
Alright. So this is where I'm going to uh, end the video. Um, so next episode we'll deal with all these runner patrols, I guess. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Borderlands. We made a lot of progress in this episode too, to be honest. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this first or this episode of Borderlands 1. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys want to see on the channel in the future. And I'll see you guys very soon in the next one. Stay safe out there. And peace out, guys.